What are aggressive growth ETFs? They're ETFs focused on utilizing aggressive investing tactics. These ETFs play on some of the market's biggest trends and strategies to squeeze as much growth as possible within various areas of the market. In these funds, you'll find innovative and niche-specific stocks that are forecasted to see above-average growth. Now that you have an idea of what aggressive growth ETFs are, we've compiled a list of 10 funds that have been hit hard recently with the market slip. These ETFs may be too risky for some, but if you're a long-term investor with a high risk tolerance, they may be perfect for you. Of course, this isn't financial advice, and we always recommend to do your own research when investing. The ETFs we've chosen have seen a share price drop of at least 15% or more in the last 90 days and have at least a billion dollars in assets under management to weed out some of those smaller funds. We're going to start our list from the lowest percentage drop of 15% to the highest percentage drop of 40%. So make sure to stay to the end. Also, we're going to fly through these pretty quickly with only the most important details. So keep up. All right, let's do this. The first aggressive growth ETF on our list is the Global X Cybersecurity ETF, ticker BUG. As the name suggests, this fund focuses on bugs. Just kidding. This ETF invests in companies that focus on cybersecurity technology. The demand for cybersecurity is rising with the global cybersecurity market projected to grow from 180 billion in 2021 to 370 billion by 2028. Bug has a current share price of around $29, an expense ratio of 0.5%, and just over $1 billion in assets under management. Their share price has retreated around 15% in the last 90 days, which places it 10th on our list. Moving on to number nine on our list, we have another Global X fund, which is their Lithium and Battery Tech ETF, ticker LIT. And as the name suggests, this ETF is LIT. This fund invests heavily in companies within the lithium industry, and with the explosive growth of electric vehicles, the demand for lithium batteries is at an all-time high. LIT has a current share price of around $78, an expense ratio of 0.75%, and almost $5 billion in assets under management. Even though LIT's share price has retreated roughly 16% in the last 90 days, it's still holding over 200% in total return over the last five years. Coming in at number eight on our list is iShares Microcap ETF, ticker IWC, which has seen almost a 20% loss in share price in the last 90 days. This fund focuses on a micro blend of companies from the Russell 2000 index. Microcap companies have a market cap between 50 and $300 million. Although classified as a blend fund, its financial and healthcare sectors make up over 46% of its portfolio. The share price is around $125, the expense ratio is 0.6%, and it has a little over a billion dollars in assets under management. Next up is lucky number seven on our list, which is the First Trust US Equities Opportunity ETF, ticker FPX. This fund generally targets the 100 largest and most liquid initial public offerings in the US. Information technology and industrial sectors make up over 45% of the fund's allocation. Because this fund focuses mostly on new companies without much historical data, it's a high-risk, high-reward investment. FPX has a current share price of around $106, an expense ratio of 0.57%, and over $1.5 billion in assets under management. FPX has seen a loss of just over 20% in share price in the last 90 days. Be sure this fund fits your risk tolerance if you're looking to invest, and if price volatility isn't your thing, I'd recommend staying away from this ETF. Number six on our list is iShares Russell 2000 Growth ETF, ticker IWO. This ETF tracks the Russell 2000 index and invests specifically in small cap companies. Healthcare, IT, industrials, and consumer discretionary sectors make up the majority of the fund's holdings. IWO has a current share price of around $250, an expense ratio of 0.24%, and over $10 billion in assets under management. The fund's share price has seen a drop of almost 23% in the last 90 days, and while there may be other small cap funds that have historically outperformed IWO, we think there may be an opportunity here before it bounces back. We're halfway through the list, and if you've made it this far, drop us a like and subscribe. Also, leave us a comment below and let us know which of these ETFs you're most interested in. With our shameless plug out of the way, 
Coming in at number five on our list is the PDR S&P Can Show New Economies Composite ETF, ticker COMP. The fund targets companies whose products and services are driving innovation through technology. COMP doesn't focus on any specific niche, but is rather well diversified throughout the tech sector. It has a current share price of just over $51, an expense ratio of just 0.2%, and about $1.8 billion in assets under management. Comp is down just under 24% in the last 90 days with the tech sector being hit hard. And as a result, Zuckerberg is in tears. Hmm. The last four funds on our list have lost at least 25% of their share price in the last 90 days, which sounds like a discount to me. Coming in at number four is the Global X Robotics and AI ETF ticker BOTS. This fund focuses on the robotics and AI industry, which hasn't fared well this year. BOTS has a current share price of just over $29, an expense ratio of 0.68%, and a little over $2 billion in assets under management. This ETF has had an almost 85% total return in the last five years, even though its share price has dropped over 26% in the last 90 days. Give this fund a look if you're into cutting edge AI and robotics companies, and you know what they say. Tomo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Moving on. Taking the third spot on our list is the SPDR S&P Biotech ETF, ticker XBI, which focuses specifically on biotech within the S&P Total Market Index. XBI has a current share price of just over $90, an expense ratio of 0.35%, and almost $6.5 billion in assets under management. Biotech is another highly speculative sector with a focus on research and development and this sector has had its worst start to the year since 2016. As a result, this fund has seen its share price drop just under 30% in the last 90 days. It's not just the smaller companies, but even big players like Moderna and Pfizer have joined the sell-off. This extreme drop in share price could make for a great entry point, but of course, be sure to weigh the risk reward on this volatile sector. Our number two pick shouldn't surprise you as Kathy Wood's funds have fallen hard over the last six months. ARK Innovation ETF, ticker ARKK, has been slumping since November and some investors are losing their minds. The fund is well known to track disruptive innovation in all sectors, which are usually the first to sell off during market crashes. In the last 90 days, the fund has dropped nearly 40% as the sell off continues. ARKK has a current share price of just over $72 and holds almost $13 billion in assets under management. As with all of Kathy's funds though, it has a higher expense ratio of 0.75% as it's an actively managed fund. Kathy is adamant that betting against disruptive innovation would be a mistake. Even in the wake of her funds losing much of their value, if she's right, there could be a lot of potential gains over the long term. All right, coming in at number one on our list is the Invesco Wilder Hill Clean Energy ETF, ticker PBW. This fund invests in companies that are advancing in clean energy and renewable resources, which is expected to have a market value of nearly $2 billion by 2030. PBW has a current share price of around $54, an expense ratio of 0.61%, and a little over a billion dollars in assets under management. The fund has lost over 40% in share price in the last 90 days, which is the biggest decline of any ETF on our list. And although the fund's value has nearly been cut in half, it still holds over 200% in total return over the last five years. With the expected continued growth of clean energy, this fund might be sitting at an excellent entry point for an aggressive investor. Buy more stocks. Now, this fund kind of smells like a butt. That's our list, but we can't stress enough that these funds are high risk, high reward investments, especially when the markets are selling off. The reason why we compiled this list is that we think there could be a lot of potential for bounce back growth over the long term with these ETFs. Let us know what you think though. Is it time to buy or are you weathering the storm? Leave us a comment below. With that said, I'm Mike. This is Mr. Roboto, AKA Max, and uh, we'll catch you guys next week. Adios. Peace.